the earliest memory I've got、mm. is actually, you know, when I was born, I felt that the memory, at least a feeling that I have was like very unhappy. You know, like, why am I here again? You know, those kind of f e e l i n g I had. So it's like slightly depressed about、mm. it. And then that carried through. And then how I, I don't know, suddenly, just like when I was 13, that my friend wanted to go to church. Then I decided just to go with, with that friend. s I don't know why, I just felt like I wanted to go. So I went to church to start with. And then it was a very small church. And then the minister was、uh, kind of strict. But I followed her rules, you know, whatever she said. I followed. And that's probably I learned how to pray and how to be grateful. Because, like, one of the, her teachings was that, you know, there was gratitude in it. t r i e d to be grateful, grateful and all that. But, like, I was a very emotional person. I live always up and down with, like,、uh, feelings with,、uh, you know, so much happy. I was so up. And the next day, Or, next, even sometime later, I feel down. This kind of thing, up and down all the time. But within all that, I don't know. You know, God, for me, always a kind of friend.、Mm-hmm. That person I need to talk to. But for person, I never got an answer. I mean, I never had any feelings about it. But I just wanted to talk to God. That's what I've been doing while I was in, in the church. So I was quite. f a n a t i c about it, <laughs> I guess. I was very, you know, just the whole my life was school, church, and house, home, whatever. Then, I don't know, after that, I actually wanted to become a missionary, you know, Christian missionary. And at the time, it was the first year of university. And then what happened was that, but you cannot just become a d e c i d e I mean, I mean, you cannot become a just. Missionary, you have to have some kind of vocation, you have to have feeling. So, I was praying for this sign that whether I should become a missionary. Then, one day, I was actually praying in the church, and I felt a bit sleepy, so I had a nap. And in the nap, I was dreaming. In the dream, at the time I studied art, so I was first in university, you know, art college. That I was studying there. Then in the dream, I was doing sculpting, you know, the you know, clay. I was, I was doing clay work and very happily. And when I dreamt it, I just woke up and, what? I, that's not exactly what I want. But, in it, you know, I kind of realized that probably God does want me to actually、mm. go back to school rather than quit it. and Go to missionary. So that's what I did. I went back to school. Then, funny thing was that after I went back to school, that I stopped going to church altogether. And like one day, one Sunday, I woke up and I didn't feel like to go to church, so I didn't. <laughs> I, just <clears throat> I just left altogether. Then, what I did, I think it, while I was in church, well, going to church, there were so many questions I wanted to ask, but I knew that the minister they couldn't answer. So、um, I, I just kept that, all the questions in me, but at the same time, there was always this kind of guilt that I'm not doing well. You know, my ideal is just up there, somewhere up there, but actual me. It's not. You know,、mm. I was so disappointed in, in me all the time. So I was beating myself all the time. Then, after I stopped going to church, then I had to release whatever that I, I accumulated over the years, all these emotions. So I went crazy. I went like nightclubs, pa- partying. I'm not sure, but I was like shouting all the time. I mean, like singing loudly. You know, all this releasing process I went through, I drinking a lot and those kind of things. Then, after that,、um, after university, I really wanted to go outside of my country. I mean, it just felt that I didn't, I have to go outside.、Mm-hmm. I have to leave Korea and then I have to find something. I don't know exactly what I was、mm-hmm. looking for. 
serious reason. So um, I went to Australia first, actually. Then there, I got, I just really felt about the reality of life. Actually, in the college, I really uh, was like kind of dreaming. I thought the world is waiting for me, and everything will be fine, and all that. In fact, it wasn't. <laughs> Coming back from Australia, um, I actually got, I had a temporary job in a, uh, in a middle school uh, as an art teacher. But then, you know, there was still some kind of longing or still I was looking for something. But I was convinced or I was sure that there isn't anything what I'm looking for in Korea, in my country. So I wanted to go out again. So that country happened to be in England because there are a lot of situations that led me to England. So in England, um, you know, I kind of still searching many different things. I started with like a Catholic church where they um, actually had in Leicester Square, like it's called the Teje meeting. So every Saturday we meet and you know, like a singing repeatedly over and over and again. And I went to even to south of France for a week to, um, you know, monastery to have their whole program experience of that. And then um, after that, also I, you know, um, I came to know this Myanmar lady. She was a kind of person who helped me a lot in England. Cause like she, she was like quite different. She kind of helped me to paint because at the time I was quite passionate about I want to be successful with the paint and I want to be a you know great paintist or whatever the artist let's just say but the reality wasn't that kind <laughs> so I had to do all this manual work in order to survive as a foreigner in London and I did like all this cafe works and restaurants and chambermaid and whatever whatever you name it cleaner whatever so I was doing that and then she was the one that you know helped me you know she was kind but she was quite interesting person because she was uh, like a deal with like energy so like she did you know like a dowsing thing all the time and like doing feng shui and you know different things and one of her room was full of god and goddesses and all these spiritual masters and she was quite particular about these energy things and etc but she was the one taking me to different places like a, one time we went to Regent's Park, there was some kind of yoga uh, place. It was actually New Year's, you know, it was New Year, uh, close New Year. So when I, when I went there, you know, a lot of people were there and then we watched it kind of their like a master's video. I watched it again, it was very nice what she was saying, but I didn't feel anything, it was just, just nice. Okay, so, you know, there was that. Then um, after that, you know, I just kept working and etc. But this lady went to this kind of Sri Chinmoy Center presented at the time, Unplugged, Meditation Unplugged. So it was course, like beginning with one week intense, like an introductory course. And then whoever interested, they had one month follow up. I missed all of that. Then what I did, I went the last bit the four weeks, the last bit where, you know, like pretty much everything kind of wind down and, you know, etc. But um, come to think about it, if I actually went from the beginning, I don't think I would meditate. Because like, you know, for me, I had no idea what like yoga is or what meditation is or what spiritual master is. I had no idea. I only had like, you know, this Christian background. So if I actually heard like om <laughs> chanting or someone actually saying about like this kind of masters and this kind of thing, I would have completely freaked out. Seriously. But anyway, when I, when I went there to the you know, actual class, interesting was the normally, the person who normally gave class wasn't there. There was that person's brother, I think his name was Sahadeva, was there. To give classes and then on that day what he was talking about exactly what i was looking for love of god or 
God's love. He was talking about that. But in fact, that's the one thing that I was looking for. Because like, even you always hear in the Bible and everywhere that God loves you, but you never feel how much God loves you. You never feel it in your heart. But that's exactly what I wanted. I want to really feel how God loves me and I, how much I love God. That's what I wanted. But that was like my kind of part of longing. Then he was talking about exactly that. If you really want to feel God's love, then he said, meditate. Okay, this is exactly what I want. So that's how I start to meditate. But I have to say in the beginning when I went there then, when I saw the transcendental picture, then I kind of, <laughs> what is this? I find it very strange because, you know, it's like kind of in Christian background, you shouldn't follow idol, but look like some kind of picture that look like idol type of thing that I found a bit strange, you know. So it wasn't that easy for me to meditate in the beginning. Even the music, I mean, <laughs> I mean, they gave me all this like full of meditation music and, um, you know, other different music. But in my ears, there was very strange music. I mean, like I'm used to listening to pop music and, you know, classical music or even jazz and everything. But that music was very strange to ears, to my ears. So I actually started with the disciple, you know, Swedish disciple music, temple song hearts and different things. And then gradually, I moved to flute meditation. Flute meditation was kind of easiest, so I could listen to and I was listening to every day and, you know, sort of thing. And then I listened to other, you know, Swedish music. Then after some time, interesting is, I didn't want to listen to disciple music because I felt more elevated, or I don't know, more higher or more feeling with Guru's music. I mean, Swedish music. Like it was like a three months after I decided to join the path that Sri Chimoy was coming to Paris. And England to Paris is pretty close. So I want to I decided to go. But since I'm meeting the master, but I had no idea what master is and you know what he does and everything. I had no idea. So I went to buy a book called Master and Disciple. So I begin to read that book. And I was so moved by actual real master what they do to disciple what actually you know that moved me into tears i i was so profoundly moved by the book and i went to you know the concert the concert i have to say i was kind of <laughs> divided into different being in my mind i had no idea what was going on but you know i could see on the stage that there's something so, I don't know, uplifting. My heart was going out towards the, uh, you know, towards the, what is happening on the stage. But I had no idea what was happening in my mind. Anyway, that, that was a kind of, you know, it wasn't kind of completely, I wasn't together with that concert, but it was nice. I guess it was nice, but it was very strange too. And then, the real thing actually for me the the most uh, i think this will i will remember forever or remember the feeling forever that like the next day after the concert like switch mori was leaving to new york so we all had like a little gathering in in the airport then we had like a morning meditation i mean the you know like a short meditation then meditation was so strong the only thing I felt was just gratitude. I felt like a, just like from within myself that that like gratitude. I just know that that was gratitude. I never feel what that means. I actually didn't, didn't even know what gratitude means in English. I had to ask somebody, but that was the feeling that I had, had was gratitude. Then he was, I mean, you know, Sri Chimur was leaving to the gate and he suddenly he looked at me and I looked at him. Then he smiled. That smile just kind of gave me feeling that 
that I knew that he was my master. That was like kind of convinced me that there was he was my master, I am his disciple. That I actually how I come to you know this spiritual path and you know come to know about spirituality. Now I can probably tell a little bit more about spirituality since I've been meditating nearly 20 years. But you know, when I started, I had no idea what spirituality was or what I was doing or anything. But I just, I guess I just followed my heart, what I really want, longing. 